Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make sock body physics and I'm going to show you how it works. And I just added a bouncing, a bouncing effect, but I'm just going to explain how to make the soft body. Now let's make it. Okay, so I have already set up the level here. So let's just make it go in the to the center of the screen. So when the green is clicked, just need to make it go to the X0 and Y0. Just make it go to the center. And now create a new sprite. And this is just going to be a circle. And this is going to be the body of the soft body. So just take any color, doesn't matter what color it is. And just press shift and then just drag your mouse to make a perfect circle. Just put it in the middle. I think I'll make it into a small one. Just put it in the center there, a bit more smaller. Okay, that's a perfect size. Okay, so now let's just add gravity to this. this body so i'm just gonna place it here and this is where it's gonna start so i'm just gonna add the position here and now let's create a variable named gravity gravity for this sprite only we are not going to use it for any other sprites okay so then we have to set the gravity to zero at the beginning and then we have to take a forever block and now let's just say if we are not touching the level, not touching the level, not touching the level, which is sprite one. I think I'll rename the sprite one to level. Okay, now go back here. And if it's not touching the level, let's change the gravity by negative one. Else it'll just set to zero and it will just stop when it hits the level. So after that, let's take a change y by 10 and put it here and it should not be 10, it should be the amount of gravity. Let's see whether it works. Yeah, it does work. Let me see whether it works for my higher height. Or if I put it here. Oh, uh, and yeah, let's also set it to draggable mode. And now if we drag it, you can see that the gravity variable goes above 1000. So it just goes under the level. So we don't need that. So to avoid that, let's just uh, take another green flag option and then forever. If, if the mouse is down, press that oh, here it is. And if the mouse is down and if it's touching the mouse pointer, if it's touching the mouse pointer, so let's take an and block and put these two there. So this actually means if we are clicking on the object or if we are dragging it, so then we should set the gravity to zero. Then it will not go under the level like that. So let's put it here. Now it, when we drag it, the gravity is still zero. And now if I drop it, okay, uh, and it's going a little bit inside. So let's just uh, add a change y by minus one, not over there, over here. Wait, I'm not supposed to change it to minus one. I'm supposed to change it to one so it will go upwards. 
Okay, that looks fine. But it's shaking a bit, it's okay. So if I, what if I drop it from a higher height? Okay, so then that happens. What happens if I change this to a value, I mean, a might block? Let's check it. So I'm gonna make a block and name it gravity. And add the run without screen refresh and click on okay. Let's put this block here. Take the gravity block and just put it here. Now what happens? Okay, so now what will happen if I drop it from a higher height? Wait a minute. Not surface touch level. Okay, a little bit high up here. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so now let's make the real body, the soft body. So now let's create a new sprite. Um, let's just need to draw a small circle. Any color doesn't matter because the real soft body is going to be made out of pen and this is just for the just so that the pen can trace through those dots I made make so just made the dot at this side and now let's make a block named ball run with a screen refresh click on ok and now under this let's First, make it go to sprite 2, which is the uh, ball I made here. And then it should move uh, by, I'll, I'll uh, add that later. And now let's take an if block. So we're just going to check if it's touching the level or not. So let's take the touching the level and then it should repeat until it's not touching the level so let's duplicate this add the let's set up here not touching level and let's just say go negative but go minus uh, i mean negative one okay so after that Add another move block under it, and this is gonna be the radius of the circle that is gonna be around this sprite. So let's take a divide block, put it there. At this side, let's put eight, and at the other side, add an addition block, and then wait, put here, and then add 50 here, 50 here now. And then that should be the distance from the ball. So where's that block? Yeah, here it is. Distance from the ball, which is sprite two. Okay, and now let's make a new variable named distance. distance for this sprite only and let's set the distance at the end of the program to the distance from sprite 2 and then the distance we can put it on this block up here I made right there so now let's see where this small ball goes it goes nowhere okay because I didn't use the block. So at the beginning, it should go to the sprite two again. And then let's make it go downwards. So point downwards. And after that, let's make it move. How much ever steps you want, I'm just gonna put 50. Okay, and after that, let's take a forever block and then add our block here. And is this, okay, just in run without, run without screen refresh. 
and let's just put this block here and now it should work and yeah there and this is what should happen so now if i take it uh, it's not working that well um okay let me see what's the problem so what i did here is i i'm supposed to add a negative i mean a subtract block because the the sprite should go towards it and when i add this one it's going away from the block this uh, body and let's put this here and then add 50 at the side and now it should work properly yeah i think it works properly now yeah now it works properly that's how it should work and then when i drop it it should go a bit inside the uh, body okay and that's how it should work and now you just need to do a duplicate of these and then just change the direction of it over here so i'm just gonna duplicate this and then here i'm just gonna change the direction to um, 150 so now it goes at the other side there now i'm gonna duplicate it again change it to 120 then duplicate it again change it to 90 and then after that i'm just gonna make it 60 duplicate it again and then i'm just gonna make it 30 and stop running the code and after that duplicate it again make it zero now let me see now i have a half circle okay so now let's make let me make the other half so let me continue this duplicating so next i'm going to make it minus 30 and then minus 60 and then 90 i mean minus 90 negative 90 and then i'm going to make it negative 120 then negative 150 and then okay I, I don't think i think that's enough of duplicating and okay so delete that now let's see how it is okay now we got a full circle which is what i want okay and now let's make the actual pen go around it so go go to the main sprite the body and then let's hide it so let's not use the hide block we're just going to use the ghost effect block because when you use the hide block the the code won't work but if i use the ghost effect the code will work so let's take the ghost effect and change it to 100 and now if i turn it to 100 i can't drag it so to drag it i need to change it to 99 so it's still invisible but i can now drag it now you can see i can oh wait I'll, I'll try it in full screen mode and now i can drag it like this and you can see how those small soft bodies are affecting in the level being affected in the level you can see it looks like it's a soft body and now let's make the same code for all of those so i'm just gonna move this to all of the sprites And now I have finished doing it to all of them. And now you cannot see it anymore. Okay. And also I want to hide all of these variables I see. So let me hide that. 
and the gravity. Okay, so now let's create a new sprite and you just leave it empty and let's call this pen because this is going to trace all of these circles. Okay, so now let's uh, add extension, add the pen. At the beginning, it should erase all. When the green flag is clicked forever, it should first go to the first sprite, which is sprite one. I mean, sprite one. Okay, and before that, it should go to the last sprite, which is sprite 13. So go to sprite 13 at the beginning. And then duplicate this. Make this sprite 3, the next bar. And make this into sprite 4. And you just need to repeat this until reaching sprite 13 again. So sprite 5, sprite 6, sprite 7, sprite 8. And duplicate this one more time. Sprite 9, sprite 10. Sprite 11, duplicate this one more time. Sprite 12, Sprite 13, that's it. Now just put the whole thing inside the forever block and add an erase block there also, right here. And you can change the pen color to whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to green. And then you can set the pen size to five. Okay, now let's see how this is working. And it's not working. Oh yeah, because I didn't add the pen down block anywhere. Let's just put it there. Now there it is, the circle. I think I'll make it more thicker, 10. Yeah, I think 10 is better. So, and there's a small line over here, so let's put the pendant block inside the script right after the go to 13, go to sprite 13. And now let's add a sprite a pen up here. And now let's run it. Now that line is not there. And that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Okay.